Okay, so back in the late 90s was when I met my partner, Tim Lewis, and uh, he came through my school and we got to know each other, real good dude. And uh, so here we go that um, my wife and everybody, we're going to meet for the first time at, uh, uh, we were going to the Reading National event. And um, so my wife comes in, the inn at Reading, um, and we had dinner and we were pulling up to the hotel. And... Uh, Tim Lewis, my partner, is definitely a character, okay? Uh, you'd never think it, but um, he's definitely one of those people that, you know, will be mellow, not talk much, and then all of a sudden do something that, you know, is quite interesting. So, we pull up to the hotel, and he knows my wife is getting out of the car, and I said, oh, you know, she's, you know, we're in introducing, you guys get along, we'll go for a drink and all of that. So, we pull up to the front of the uh, Inn at Reading, and... Um, so she goes, well, where is he? And I happened to look up right outside the lobby of the hotel, and he happens to be in a full pants down mooning my wife. Okay? So <clears throat> from my car, I am looking out, and he is mooning my wife. So um, that's just kind of the way he is. And keeping that in mind, uh, like a year later, two years later, we're driving to Dallas, which anybody knows, you know, we were from Jersey at the time, long ride, all of this stuff. And I'm thinking, hey, I remember Tim kind of likes to moon people. And, uh, we're driving down the highway there and we're bored 17 hours into this thing. And I see a bus full of church ladies. Okay. And I'm like, we're driving in a toter home, so it's got big glass windows on the side. And I'm like, this would be perfect. Okay. So I asked him, hey, can you jump out of the, you know, shot, running, riding shotgun? And uh, how about you get up on that couch right there? And uh, how about we moon these church ladies? Okay. So, of course, Tim, not going to pass up a dare. Um, that's what we do. So he jumps up on the couch and... He pulls his pants down and presses it up against the glass window of that toter home. And we literally, for about four or five miles, just ride side by side with this bus. And just, even the ones that didn't want to look, we kind of forced them into it. But uh, that was definitely something that, uh, you know, uh, broke the ice after 17 hours of driving. We kind of, uh, we laughed about that for probably for the next three hours until we got to Dallas. <laughs>